see African traditional meal that is we prepare some Murenda vegetable for our seven months old baby and if you are new here kindly remember to subscribe like comment and share so let the water boil And then we are going to use a uh, traditional vegetable softener. In another video, I'll show you how to prepare it. Remember, we want a healthy green vegetable for our baby. And therefore, it's important that we don't use some chemicals or other additives. So the vegetable is well cleaned up. And therefore, I'm going to add in our pan remember to follow this step then you will let it cook until it is tender enough one thing i like about this vegetable this murenda is pieces and then we are going to blend the rice.
can eat and it's good for our health or even the baby's health so just like a small amount of cooking oil then fry the onions until they are slightly golden brown please do not let them go brownish remember uh, babies will react differently and therefore we don't want to burn their food yeah make sure the food is sweet and fresh and please do not add spices just ensure you prepare some natural foods yeah spicy food can harm your baby mm -hmm. you see the onion is not overcooked just slightly cooked And then we are going to add our tomato puree, what we have already blended. And always make sure that your puree cooks so well before you add in the, 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 the vegetable. Some people don't like cooking the puree. You know, it's, if you don't let your tomatoes cook, then the food won't be tasty. Always give it some time to cook. So I'm checking on our Murenda. Once it is tender enough, you'll know that it has cooked. Yeah. It should be tender and slippery. And just by the look of it, you can easily tell that it is well cooked. And so we are just checking whether our tomatoes are ready. So we can get to put in the vegetable. So if you realize that the Murenda has lots of soup, it's good that you drain before transferring it to the tomato paste so also when it comes to salt remember to put just a pinch of it okay baby's food shouldn't have a lot of salt okay just a bit of it it shouldn't taste like too tasty if i had to say so so I've just given my Miranda a, 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 a moment so that it can cook so well. But one thing I know is that it scorch. Miranda does scorch on the cooking pan. So you have to be careful. You keep stirring her. It doesn't go out So I will use that plastic container to sieve off the soup. The sieving Miranda soup can be so, so difficult. Trust me. But you can try and, and drain just uh, a small amount of water, but not too much of it. Because remember, we want that soup for our baby's food. Eh? Yeah, as you can see, it's so slippery. I'm already feeling hungry. Can't wait to test my baby's food. And by the way, I've done this before. And my baby loves this vegetable so 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 much so i'm just trying to get what is remaining on the pan you see it's so well cooked it's very tender and it goes well with ugali when served So I'm trying to drain off the water. Like I said, it's not easy. But I just let out a bit of it.
So draining the water is still not that easy. So I've decided to let some soup. So here we go. Let's put in the tomato paste. Make sure you stir so so well. Now I'm preparing some ugali on the other end, just a small portion of ugali, which will be served with this murenda. So this ugali is a flour from maize, maize meal. That's purely maize. So it's time that we serve as our ugali cooks on a low heat. So I'm serving my moranda for baby. It's ready cooked. I don't like it with onions. That's why I have to pick some onions and turn them on the pan. I just want the vegetable and the soup. So my baby is over here. He already loves the kitchen because you know this is where we get some tasty and yummy food. Yeah. So I'm preparing and ready to serve him. He's really waiting. So this is how the Miranda looks like. You see it's very tender and good for our baby. So I'm adding a portion of ugali. Then I'll cut into smaller pieces and make sure it is soft enough not to choke our baby. And serve it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Kindly remember to subscribe, to comment, to share, and like this video. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for working with me. Thank you, and thank you, and bye-bye.